An energy storage bill becomes law in California. New studies being conducted in Oklahoma to determine the impact of smart grid technologies on a company's electric consumption habits. And Verizon adds 260 hybrid vehicles to its New Jersey fleet. This is your Daily Energy Report. It is the beginning of a new month. Hi, I'm Ben Lack, and this is your Daily Energy Report for October the 1st. I'll be bringing you top stories coming from the energy sector today. <laughs> top headline for the day. One of the first pieces of legislation that focuses on energy storage has been signed by California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Assembly Bill 2514 requires that the California Public Utilities Commission determine appropriate energy storage targets for the state's utilities. What this means is that public utilities like Pacific Gas and Electric, Southern California Edison, and San Diego Gas and Electric will have to reach the California PUC energy storage mandates by 2016 and 2021. Tech Radium's patented IRIS technology has been selected to be used in a study by Oklahoma Gas and Electric that will determine the effectiveness of smart grid data to commercial and residential customers. Almost 3,000 customers from Norman, Oklahoma will be notified by 5 p.m. on a daily or weekly basis with energy peak price messaging. OG&E, which has a customer base of approximately 775,000 customers, is one of the country's first electric utilities to study how customers can use smart grid technology in their businesses and homes to increase their energy efficiency. And finally, Verizon's New Jersey fleet just got a little greener. In an effort to add more than 1,600 alternative energy vehicles to its fleet, the communications providers announced that 260 hybrid vehicles, which include Toyota hybrid sedans, Chevy hybrid pickup trucks, and unique mild hybrid aerial fiber splicing trucks, have been integrated in the existing fleet operation. This effort is something that Verizon has been implementing for the last two years, and since 2008, the company has already been able to achieve 2.7 million gallons of savings in fuel consumption. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and tune in next week to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great weekend.